Welcome to Boston Sculptors Gallery, and we are open. My name is Jody Quilella, and I'm the current exhibiting artist, and my show is Faculty of Utterance. I would love to give you a private tour in real life if you wanted to come into the gallery, but in the meantime, please enjoy these video highlights. Welcome to my show, Faculty of Utterance. I am so pleased to have you join me for a tour of my current show. As we make our way through the space, we will see a collection of several bodies of work that confront cultural tensions, gender-based oppression, and the silencing of voices, using embellishment to subvert identities. I relish the labor of meticulous handwork and use kitsch, nostalgia, and needle arts to remind us that the how of making is as important as the why. This sculpture is called Acquiescence in Yellow, and it's part of my Mary Jane's collection. Mary Jane's began small figurines that were found from flea markets, and they are inspired by the um, invasion of space, many of our personal space, that a lot of external factors have on us, socially for most people, but particularly for women. And of course, the Mary Janes are a very iconic symbol of mid-century dress for little girls who are expected to be seen but not heard. My original Mary Janes were inspired by found figurines that I found at flea markets and yard sales, mostly moved by their gestures and what they represented. But I realized quickly that it wasn't speaking in large enough voice for me, and I wanted to scale it up. And it's, you know, the, these challenges are what always sort of um, face you as a sculptor and as an artist, is how to find the materials that you really need. So I did some research and came across some garden statues that were equally kitsch and nostalgic and learned how to turn them into what looks to be a figurine made out of ceramics. I learned some processes and glazing, and the scaled it up with the amount of fiber that I used to contain it. And now it's become this monumental statement of um, what I wanted to say. I'm very happy to show you. These are snapshots of women and their domestic spaces in the mid 20th century. I use embroidery here to act as a device where it hides a lot of the identity but chooses to reveal just enough for us to see who these women are. Domestic space was one of the only places, the only opportunities where women of that time period could hold their own. deal with the tension between invisibility and visibility for women, particularly with fashion and clothing and dress, how we choose to present ourselves, how others choose to see us, how we use it as armor, how we can hide behind it. Each one limits the view of the wearer so they can't see where they are, thereby limiting access and mobility. These sculptures highlight how the erasure of identity works two ways, both as a repressive and liberating action. The concealment of physicality nullifies bias and disrupts the society's presuppositions based on beauty, gender, and cultural stereotypes. This piece is my memorial to those lost to the opioid epidemic. It is called Once Was and consists of 3,600 remembrance poppies. I chose poppies because of it representing a traditional 
um, memorial symbol, and also ironically, it is the source of opium. 3,600 poppies on both sides, 12 feet tall, 5 feet wide, and each one represents 200 individuals lost to the opioid epidemic. That makes a total of 720,000 people from 1999 until 2019 when I completed the project. The poppies are created from donated clothing that I made by hand, I assembled by hand, mounted on black plush velvet, which is a funerary symbol. The centers are void and the red embroidery represents the voices lost. The works in this collection embrace complexities of vulnerability and power, and juxtapose the dualities like beauty and malice, restraint and excess, power and oppression, whimsy and threat. My hope is to challenge us to think about our own partialities and prompt imaginings of a more liberated world. I thank you for your interest and for joining me on this virtual tour. Please check the website often for upcoming events, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.